What's up, Paul Bills fans? Bertie back here with a Porsche 911 GC3 RS. Hmm, what's he doing with this? Well, you can see from the title quite easily, we're going to be doing my very, very first custom. And I've got a bit of an idea. A lot of people tend to be adding wings and kind of going crazy with RWB type bits and pieces but I'm going to be stripping this one back we're going to be doing as you can see from the title a GT3 touring so first of all let's take this Porsche 991 GT3 RS out of the pack that was rubbish 13 there we go that's better let's get that out so I managed to pick up a couple of these uh, on a hunt not too long ago thinking yeah perfect coming very very handy for doing a custom so yeah since joining Facebook a couple of weeks ago uh, quite a few of the groups on there are custom and obviously taking a look through there I've been seriously inspired I've seen some killer pieces on there um, and it's just given me a little bit more oomph to pulling my finger out and getting on with mine so along with Derek over at the Honest Diecast group on Facebook and also he started his own YouTube channel so if you're getting into customs and you want to know where to start off and kind of the best way to go about things click on his videos uh, take a little browse at his bits and pieces great way to get up and running but back to this one in hand as I say super inspired by some of the bits and taking that into account we're going to turn this GT3 RS back into a GT3 Touring so taking that wing off so we're going to be using the Dremel to cut this away I'm going to have to probably fill in with some uh, putty type putty type stuff shall I say um, get that sanded back Think you can see the wings quite pronounced across there as well. I don't think it's that pronounced on the touring, so I'll probably look at taking that back so it's not as uh, not as kind of stick outy and also as high. So we'll try and do a little bit of work with that. What else am I going to do? I'm going to fill in these air air duct details across the front here. Um, I don't think the touring has those there, but. Yeah, we'll see how it looks and may, may end up leaving those in, I'm not sure yet. Um, but apart from that, just doing some kind of lights, uh, wing mirrors, you know, a, a simple, straightforward bits and pieces. And I may even, um, as I've mentioned before, the trap wheels that are on this, they're cool wheels, but I don't like how they do it with that little silver lip. So I may do something with it and uh, make it look closer to a real wheel in my eyes. So... Let's get cracking, hey? Right, so what we're gonna do is take said Porsche 991 GC3 RS and we're gonna start taking this one apart. So. Going over, but 
I can definitely see there's still an awful lot that needs to come off. So, time for a second dip in the strip. Okay, so whilst I'm waiting for that to bubble away, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these wheels off. Most people probably end up doing a, a wheel swap, so to speak. I am not because that's pretty damn close to a, a GT3 RS wheel. So we're going to keep hold of this, but we are going to be doing something to it which requires us to take it off. So hot wheels come with these three little prongs, which is quite good. Me personally, I think I'm going to do the two on the outside edge just in case I damage that one because if it goes that side I can't do anything without trying to do it other than gluing that little tab back in place so let's just see if we can work the screwdriver under there just to tease it back enough This is pretty good. Not bad for my first time out. Not bad at all. As you can see, it is pretty much done with its paint. We've stripped it down. Um, there are still a few little bits and pieces in there which we will get out with a little tool on the Dremel. But that's pretty much it. Next up, body modifications and not really modifications massively because I'm taking things away not adding so touring comes without a spoiler so we're going to be taking off this spoiler right here um, and possibly even looking at a few details across the back but uh, I'll wait and see how I get on with taking off this spoiler first and foremost but ideally I would like to shave down a little bit of the spoiler there and possibly do some work to where the um, for the top of the air duct on there but yeah apart from that we're going to be filling in where it would have these little release details over the wheel arches we're going to fill that in because they're not present on the touring so the other thing that I may look to do is just possibly do a little bit of work around these wing mirrors here see if I can improve on the detail for those so yeah first up remove that rear wing so I've got the Dremel here what I need to do is just try and find the right sort of speed that's going to work for this and also the right sort of angle
and one despoilered GT3 Touring or on its way to being anyway so as I say I think I'm gonna do definitely obviously taking this down at the same point I think I'm gonna take away some of this lip here just to make it um, less pronounced which is on the touring side I'm gonna crack on with that and we'll catch up in a bit all right so here we go takes quite a bit of time to obviously get the shape right but do you know what I'm really quite happy with how that's come out so you can see I've just taken away where the original spoiler was and taken an awful lot off of here that's really quite pronounced previously um, so I've taken an awful lot off of that there and just reshaped back end so next up will be I need to pick up a tool to be able to just finish off the uh, boot decal or boot deck lid I should say as, as an engine under it so yeah I've left the original markers for where they come down and then they literally just jut down from there so yeah just need to pick up a tool to do that with some putty to get this wheel arch uh, detailing filled in um, and smooth and then yeah just a case of a little bit of something across there to smooth things off but I will be keeping from there and there because that is actually the shape that I need to create the new um, uh, new uh, detailing that runs across the spoiler itself so yeah that will be kept in so that I've got a reference point for that there and then yeah it's just a case of why wheeling making sure that everything's done uh, making sure that I've got all the paints out of it and then yeah we're gonna move on and get this one primered and speaking of primer itself I've got wheels to do so I'm gonna get the wheels primed up already and then we'll move on to the next stage was a trap wheel still a trap wheel but now primed up next stage that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some silver wheel paint and I'm going to be spraying them over so it's not going to look that much different to be honest um, in terms of the colour a little bit darker but yeah let's get a little spray on right there we go there's your finished product so they're not perfect they're not perfect at all um, it's really 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 tricky trying to do the outside lip um, and then just catch the inside edge without going over too much you can see that I've done it once or twice on there and got very very frustrated trying to do so but you know end result is not too bad so that is the rear set which are slightly wider front's already on there again didn't come out too bad if you look at them just glancingly they do look like they've got a set of tires on there so what we're going to do we're going to be popping these back in which again as i pried open the little three prongs they go back together fairly nicely. Right, there it is. That's what I was after. A little updates I did pick up a putty I can't really call it putty it is let me just show you I think I've got it to hand or am I fibbing uh, yes here we go so I should have picked up an e-putty this is kind of an e-putty but 
it's clear, which I'm sure is really, really handy for a couple of uses, but I think I should have used uh, the standard kind of um, solid putty. So this I'm sure is really good for certain bits and pieces, but yeah, it's hardened up. I've left it, it's been curing for about 15 hours actually since I did it last night. So that's ready to sand and see how we get on with that. Hopefully it will do the job, but it's not something I'm recommending. Um, and just in case you do, that's what I actually use. As I say, I'm sure it has its uses. And in fact, it's that clear that I'm thinking it may work putting onto um, windows to create windows, kind of. You'll understand what I mean in further videos. Right, anyway, there we go. Traps painted, just so you can get an idea of how it's coming on. There we go. It's getting there, people, it's getting there. So, as I say, next stage, is gonna be uh, sanding it down. Once I've sanded it down a little bit, I think I'm gonna prime it. Um, that should help to see areas that uh, need a further bit of sanding, and then we'll show we'll take it from there. There we go, freshly painted after two coats and a good prime. And in fact, it was actually the third time that I did do it. So first time I did it, um, didn't warm cans up. And any of you that are starting out as customizers, make sure you warm your paint cans and also your primer cans prior to it in some warm water. Um, it does make a massive, massive difference to how it sprays. So yes, went in for a dip and a strip. And second time round, I got all the way to this stage and then pretty much mucked up tail lights. So went in for a second dip and a strip and this is a third time out. So third time lucky. Here we go, next up, I'm gonna be doing brake lights. Previously, yesterday when I did them, um, I used a paintbrush and some paint and it's really tricky with a paintbrush trying to get anything that small and that detailed. So I have some of these paint pens that I picked up. I uh, had a little play around with them a little bit earlier on and I think I can make it work. So we've got a red and we've got a white here as well to do some backup lights. Well, it's either gonna be white or it's gonna be silver that I'm using for the backup lights on there. So that's the next stage. Let's crack on and let's get this one done. So yeah, pretty happy actually. Across the back, I think the lights look pretty good. Down through the fronts, it's looking pretty darn good. All in all, I am fairly happy. So next up, I'm gonna be doing some varnish across the top. So a little top layer, just to seal everything and keep it looking sharp. This one here I've got is a setting. So 
thought I'd go for something a little bit different. But all in all, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Only thing I would say is, as you can see through the back there, next time I'm definitely going to use a different type of putty. I think that let me down for what I've used there. But yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's whack some of the varnish on there and let's show you what it's like when it's completely finished. GT3 Touring. I'm quite happy, quite happy with the results. Bearing in mind, it's my very, very, very first attempt at trying to do a custom. Um, it's come out not too bad. Paint work, I definitely need to up my game on. Um, but that will just come with time. But in terms of kind of the brake, um, brake light detailing that I did towards the back, quite happy with that. Definitely putty work was not good. You can see across there, it's uh, yeah, not great, not great across there. So I will be repeating this custom at some point in the near future. Uh, well, hopefully not too near future. Hopefully I have plenty of other ones to keep me busy. But yeah, Bertie's wheels, very first custom. Trap wheels painted silver for the inside and then we've done a black lip for the tire we've used this um, meadow green paint uh, which is actually a ford color but um, i took inspiration for this kind of color and, and the wheel color and so on and so forth for something that i did see on i think it was on pin pinterest so that's where the inspiration for the color came from that we work quite nicely on the touring itself but apart from that, lights at the rear being done. Also just picked up on the wing mirrors there as well. And at the front, just picked up on the running lights there. But yeah, there we go. Let me know, what do you think? For a first time out, how did I get on? Where did I go wrong? What should I have done a, a damn sight better? And yes, I, I know that's, that's the obvious bit that I need to do. A lot better. But yeah, first time out. Tell me what you think. 